alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds in the middleweight division between marvelous Marvin Hagler and Bernard Hopkins. Marvin Hagler's had this experience so many times and success has always come on the back end of these ring walks. It's his focus at this moment that delivers it. Bernard Hopkins is not throwing any fuel onto the fire for his opponent. He's just making his way down to the ring in a way in which he's checking that time card, ready to punch in and get to work. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Thirty-six minutes still ahead of him here, round one of twelve. Teddy, talk to me about this matchup from a defensive side of the game when you have two speedy fighters matching up. But you know what? I'm going to whisper in my guy's ear a little bit. I'm going to say, you know what? Use his speed against him. Step out a little bit. Shake Let him off, shadow box a little bit. There's nobody there. And when he misses, step right back in. Make him peg. Locks away that head shot. Not able to land the uppercut. That's a huge left he just scored with. You got it. Carries that punch intended for the head. Marvelous mark. Oh, that uppercut got him. What a big shot. Not a good sign of the night to come. He's down here in the first round. Came out a little careless. Hopkins finding a way to dig deep into that reservoir of will and energy and strength, getting up, beating the count. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Good flush, straight left hand. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh. A huge right hand from Hagler. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hagler Hearns. Yeah, you wonder if it's going to live up to that so far, so good. Damage. Can you believe this? Did you see that? Remember earlier he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got callous here. One, two, three, four, five. So he was knocked down there, but now he's giving you every indication that he's fresh and ready to go back after him. Yeah, well, I think he's giving that to you because he is. As you said, just a quick knockdown. But right now, what he's got to be careful for is the same mistake again. Ten 
seconds to go in this round. Good, solid overhand left. That was a great round we just saw, Teddy. And that, this is why I'm glad I do my job, not yours. You have to try to score that round. Yeah, I have to score it, but they have to figure out why they both got shaken up and make sure it doesn't happen again. Close round, but the good news, more to come right. for How audience. Nice and calm. Nice and calm, right? How you feeling? He's counterpunching. You need to be aware okay. of that, okay? Watch for the counter. You can't let this guy throw first. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not gonna be around to worry. Marvin Hagler, of course, associated with Brockton, Massachusetts, but he was originally from Newark, New Jersey's Central Ward. He was raised by a single mom there, and he was still there in 1967 when there were the Newark riots. Yeah, and you never know how that kind of experience, those kind of things in your life affect you for later on. Ready you for something that you never knew you were gonna have to be ready for. In this case, a boxing career. He clinches when he gets to the inside. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. How about a return to center with the left hand? Body shot lands. It was the right. Action body. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Hard to believe they can still give like this in these final moments of what has been a sensational round. I feel like I'm back at the amusement park on a roller coaster again, like a kid. I need to see some Keeping his hands up, hands. getting way of his opponent's effort. Hook right on the belt line. Look at that! Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time now? One, two, three, four, five, six, It's over. This fight is over. Marvin Hagler's unable to beat the count. Knockout loss for him. Oh, that's a big win. That's a big win that's going to get everybody in the division's attention. Hopkins' power ends this early. You see results like combination, but one shot? Wow. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.